We're not here today to determine whether or not coaching is an effective strategy for growth. The research is clear that coaching can lead to extraordinary gains in performance and results. And that has led us to ask the question of ourselves and our team, are you coachable? That's the wrong question. Because humans are unique and nuanced, the effectiveness of coaching can't be boiled down to a single yes or no question. Instead, we ought to be asking, how coachable are you? And more specifically, we ought to be asking about the coaching conditions that create the most positive, productive, powerful outcomes. So let's ask the big six instead. Who, what, where, when, why, and how? Who is coaching you? A stranger? Someone in the same department? The coach coachy relationship matters too. What are you being coached on? A technical skill, a thought pattern, the process of change? The content of the coaching partnership makes a difference. Where is the coaching taking place? Are you connecting on the job site or are you being called into someone's office? Is it in person, virtual, an app? When are you being coached? Before a particular meeting, after the meeting concludes, during the workday or after hours? When also speaks to the frequency. Is your coaching once a year during your annual review, quarterly, every day? Why are you being coached? Have you sought out the support to meet your goals? Is it part of a formal process to remediate your weaknesses? What's the purpose of the coaching anyway? And how does the coaching transpire? Is it one-way feedback, a written report, or does it include reflective dialogue, which I've been focused on for years? I encourage you to consider the answer to these six questions and explore them deeply, not to determine if you or your direct reports are coachable, rather how we can create the conditions to support the growth, productivity, and effectiveness of the coaching process as we strive toward our goals.